Happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday blessings. I wanted to show y'all a quick and easy recipe that I made. I actually just kind of made this up. Um, I'm sorry I didn't show the cooking process. I just kind of, like I said, made this up and it turned out absolutely delicious. I made a hot, um, let's see if my camera's focusing on it. There it is. I made a hot, cheesy, dip with meat and where's my little plate down here there it is i made this hot cheesy dip with meat because um you know thanksgiving is coming up lord willing and i like to make appetizers and stuff like that because we're always hungry before the turkey and the dressing and the greens and everything is ready so you know we walk around like looking in the pot so I was experimenting on this hot, cheesy, meaty dip. And I said, well, you know what? Why don't I just take something like, because we take like spinach dip and uh, vegetable tray, fruit tray, and all that kind of stuff to nibble on to time for dinner. But I said, let me take something a little bit more substantial. So let me see if I can give you the recipe quickly. All I did was took some ground turkey roll. And I browned that up. Once that was browned up, I added my favorite seasonings, which is the Goya with the green top on it. That's my favorite one. And then after I browned up that turkey and I put that seasoning in it, I let all the liquid dry up and I added a can of Rotel diced tomatoes. Okay. Just one can, including the juice. I then let that juice evaporate into the meat. Once that was done, I cooked that meat for about 40 minutes on top of the stove. And once the juice is dried up, I let the meat come to a rest and let it sit there for another 20 minutes just to cool down. In the process, while the meat was cooking, I had one block of cream cheese. Uh, resting so it could come to room temperature and what I did I just laid it right on that stove while that pot of turkey was cooking turkey meat was cooking I just put it right there on my stove so it came to room temperature so I added one block of cream cheese believe it or not I added a whole container of sour cream a whole container of sour cream and then I took some cheddar cheese you can use whatever cheese you like I happen to like sharp cheddar and I put about a uh, half of a bag in there and I mixed all that up the sour cream the cream cheese the sharp cheddar cheese and then I um, added some chives and um, a little bit of parsley then I mixed everything together and then I sprayed my baking dish and then I cooked it on 400 degrees for 40 minutes and it turned out fabulous take another look it tastes so good y'all oh lord it tastes so delicious cheesy meaty savory i added some extra pico de gallo let me give you all that bite. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. 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 Give it a try.